Well, hey there, Reese. Yeah, can you just imagine how incredible it would be not only to play for the World Series, but to do it at your hometown? It's a pretty amazing experience for Rendon. We're at Lamar High School. For context for everybody in D.C., we're about 10 minutes away from Reese. It's a 10-minute drive from the stadium over there. I spent the day here yesterday speaking with players on the baseball team and the softball team, but then I also spoke with Rendon's former coach who, no surprise, had some really kind things to say. It's special. In the cafeteria of Lamar High School in Houston, Coach David Munoz sat down with us to talk about those formative years for Anthony Rendon. He says even in high school, they knew this kid was going places. When we started taking batting practice, that was also something to remember. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, he does not miss, and when he swings the bat and hits the ball, it goes far, and it goes a long way it, with some velocity. He's really good in the major league, so I imagine with some high school pitchers, he was putting on a show. Not only that, and the bigger the bigger the moment, the better he was. Was there an aha moment where you were like, this guy's going places? The aha moments were he would do it every day. The aha moments were he would play every day like it was his last. Outside on the diamond, which Rendon once called home field, the next generation was following in his footsteps. Uh, my name is Matthew Mackey. Yeah, my name is Cameron Meisbach. My name is Megan Duffy. And I'm a senior pitcher at Lamar High School. I'm third baseman for Lamar Baseball. And I am the shortstop on the Lamar softball team. Rendon's legacy is not lost on these high school students. It's really cool being able to see someone who's played on this field and worn this jersey and, you know, hit in the cages, done all the things that I've done, get to that kind of point and be able to play in the biggest stage in the world. Um, he's just a good example of what can happen if you just work really hard. I mean, everyone talks about his work ethic and it's just really, really good. He's at such a high level of success. He's on the highest stage of baseball. Everyone's eyes are on him and he doesn't let it get to him and that's how everyone kind of wants to be. I have a really important question. Does this mean you're rooting for the Nationals? I'm very conflicted. I will tell you that I feel that I cannot lose. I think that no matter what happens, I'm going to be proud. Headline, local Houston coach supports Nationals. <laughs> you, you can put that in the headline. If, if, if it could stay in Washington, that would be great. <laughs> So you heard it there. We can't put this online. It's got to stay in Washington right there. This, I've got one more detail that's pretty amazing here. Rendon's not the only graduate of this high school to make it to the majors. Four others. Four other people have graduated from this high school and then gone off to play in the MLB. That includes Ian Javot. He made his debut for the Tampa Bay Rays back in July. So I don't know what's in the water here at this high school, but hopefully it's going to rub off on our Nationals tonight for game one. All right, let's send it back to Reese now, who's about 10 minutes away at the stadium.